I'm twice as productive as you, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Now the issue is that people think to be double as productive, I need to do twice the amount of tasks. So they think, okay, how can I multitask? But the problem with multitasking is it doesn't actually work. It is a myth, and luckily most people know that nowadays. Your brain cannot actually do two tasks at once. It's basically just jumping from one task to another, to another, to another. Now this is actually terrible for your focus and your productivity. Because because your brain is now having to do a lot of context switching. So how can we get double as productive? Multitasking doesn't work. Well, the solution is multi-bucketing. So I'm in here in headquarters, which is my all-in-one Notion dashboard for productivity. Link is in the description if you're interested. So this is a blank document, but I wanna show you how to do multi-bucketing. I'm gonna use this to illustrate my point, but you can use any task system in order to achieve this. So I'm going to show you what you're currently doing. So you have a task, let's say your boss's report. I won't talk about all these properties like urgency, importance, state of mind, but if you're interested, link in the description. But what we're going to fill out here is the bucket and the project. So the bucket here is for my job and the project here, let's create a new project. We're going to call it report and I'm going to click on new report. So that's been added. So here we have one of my tasks for today. On Monday, do my boss report and this is relating to the report. I can also see that in my task list here and then you can see now my project, a report has been added. So we can say here, okay, this is a deadline. The bucket this is relating to is the job and let's say the deadline is on Friday. There we go. So we've got the project here and then down here I have workspaces and buckets. And if I click here on the life bucket of job, we can see here my day to day, uncompleted tasks, it's to work on the boss's report and the projects I haven't completed is report. Okay, so this is how we're currently operating. But what if we could achieve double? Now I know I can't switch from boss report to let's say optimize sales page for my business, so if I add the bucket of my business, I know I can't swap between them the whole time. That, that's just impossible. I'm not actually multitasking. I'm just switching between boss report and then optimize sales page and the boss report. That's not helping me. What we're going to do is multi-bucket. So I'm going to add here an example, and then I'm actually going to give you seven examples of how you can implement this in your life. And I want you to drop in the comments for other people any examples that you use in your actual life. So we're going to add a task here. We have a meeting with John. There we go. And I could fill out the urgency, importance, and state, but it doesn't matter for this video. So we have buckets here, which is my job. So this meeting here, the bucket is a job. Now I'm going to add another task for my day. I have to go for a walk. So I want to do, let's say, a two kilometer walk and the bucket for this is fitness. So I'm going to click here and do fitness. Well, instead of going for a meeting with John and then doing a two kilometer walk, why don't I do these at the same time? We're not multitasking, we're multi-bucketing. So what I'll do here is move meeting with John and two kilometer walk, and then I'll just move sales page and I'll move boss meeting to the next day. So up here automatically in my day to day, I get a time block of two kilometer walk and meeting with John. So instead what it might've been is here at 7 a.m. do a walk and then meeting with John at 8 a.m. Let's not do that. Let's do these at the same time. You can have a meeting with someone whilst walking. Plus studies even show that you might be more productive in your meeting if you're going for a walk during the meeting. So now we're changing these both to 8 a.m. We just freed up an hour of your day because you're doing them both at the same time. Now this isn't always practical to implement, but I'm going to give you six examples of how you can implement this today. So example one, you want to do some fitness today and you also want to hang out with your friends. Why not do both at the same time? You go play tennis with a friend. You go play volleyball with a friend. You go for a swim with a friend. Whatever it is, you are now hanging out with a friend, which is one of your life buckets here, family and friends, and you are doing another life bucket of fitness. So life buckets is kind of similar to areas if you are familiar with the para method. So here we are ticking off at the same time the fitness bucket and the family and friends bucket in the same task. Again, not multitasking, multi-bucketing. Another example, let's say you want to work on your side hustle, but you also want to hang out with a friend this weekend. And you're thinking this weekend, should I prioritize hanging out with a friend or am I going to prioritize working on my side hustle? Why not go to a cafe with your friend and you're both working on your side hustle together? You both have your laptops with, you're both brainstorming on notepads, whatever it is, and you're ticking off both of these buckets at the same time. You're going to do better work if you're working with someone. It's going to feel less like, oh, I have to work this weekend. 
and you're going to produce better results. And if you're passionate about your side hustle, you'll have fun with your friend. Okay, another example. You want to spend some quality time with your partner this weekend, but you also feel stuck in your job and you're thinking, I really should prioritize my career here. I want some good career growth and I need to spend some actual time on that. Well, again, why not go to a cafe with your partner and you're both creating a life plan. You're both figuring out how can I progress my career and you're both doing some strategy, really spending that quality time talking to each other about your goals and talking about your career aspirations and so forth. So in here, for example, what we would do is click here and say with partner and then the bucket here, we're going to select two. So we're going to select relationship and we'll also click on the plus here and say career. So now I'm doing two buckets in one task. It is an absolute cheat code for productivity. Another example, you feel like you're eating junk food every single day. Can I take your order? 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos. And you're thinking, I really need to get out of this, but that involves batch cooking and that's going to take a lot of time. But I also want to study or work on my business, whatever it is. Can you somehow batch cook whilst listening to your lecture recording in the background? Another example, you need to do house chores and you're thinking, okay, I want to do house chores, but I also want to do my journaling session or I want to work on my side hustle or I want to study, whatever it is. Can you, whilst you're doing your chores, maybe journal out loud? So you're literally talking your feelings out loud as you are doing the chores or you're listening to that business podcast or you're talking to ChatGBT out loud and brainstorming different business ideas for your side hustle. We are multi-bucketing here. This has been a game changer for me and I try to do two buckets for every task that I'm doing if it's possible. Another great example is having a treadmill at a standing desk. I don't have this, but I mean, I love the idea. You're doing fitness whilst working. Again, we're doing two buckets whilst we're doing one task. If you find this way of thinking useful, you are going to love my headquarters template. It is the all-in-one notion dashboard that you need to achieve your goals click on this video here if you're interested and thank you so much for watching